Yo, what's up, people? How you doing? I'm living. How you doing? Michael's working. He'll be with us in a moment. (laughs) (laughs) I'm done now. Did you buy it? Did. Oh man, (laughs) that was not financial advice, by the way. I I assume that nothing these days. Financial advice. (laughs) Good. (laughs) Good. Uh, Uh, We'll get. We'll get into what. We'll get into what he bought later. Uh, Uh oh. (laughs) <laughs> He's, are you holding your phone out a little further away I these days? Uh, I bought three point four billion. Okay, okay. I will. I have a few. I have a few. Uh, anyways, we're going to talk about meme coins today. <laughs> some shit coins, some meme coins. Uh, <laughs> this is not financial advice. Yet. <laughs> just roll that for a little bit. Yeah. Not every sentence with this is not financial yeah. advice, but this is pure degen, ridiculous play. Like, anyways, but I want to talk about it because I want to talk about bald, bald to start with. Um, only because I like conspiracy theories, and um, this is a good one. Uh, I like the idea that uh, I've seen it going rolling around too. Like people are putting threads out there of why SBF That's was like, literally the the man behind bald yeah. and why it rugged. Uh and their their most compelling argument is that the way that the Twitter handle uh writes its tweets is the same as SBF it's not Twitter anymore. Sorry, or X. X. Can and we call it and I, they're called like X's or something, aren't they? <laughs> I don't know. Ran by Dogecoin. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully um but yeah so that that rumor that and this was this is the next step right well since you know sbf has been collaborating with the government obviously they collaborated with bald i mean hello freaking what's his name uh is it armstrong yeah brian armstrong, brian armstrong? Yeah. he's bald as fuck <laughs> so they uh so it's just bezos <laughs> no nah, it has nothing to do with bezos so it's all so they create bald, right? Um, and obviously, because Mark, you know, or, or uh, what's Armstrong? What's his name? Brian Armstrong. Brian Armstrong. He's bald. So, uh, and then they rug the community. They utilize, didn't they utilize the Coinbase? Uh, I their... another three point five billion. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll get to it soon. <laughs> I just want to. I just want to feel like I'm missing out. <laughs> You're gonna miss out. <laughs> You're gonna miss out. <laughs> Oh uh, man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna owe you like 200 bucks. I'm like, oh, the next time I see you, you're like, I lost all my money. But the the bald stuff. So, uh, anyways, somehow this whole the bald situation. I don't even know how it went down, but they're trying to correlate it with Brian Armstrong and that the government did this because they need to show that you know all cryptos are shit coins, right? Except for Bitcoin. Bitcoin. Mm. Which, funny enough, at the similar time, the SEC told coinbase to do what uh well let's just caveat that with the fact that brian armstrong said the fc SEC oh, yeah. told him that everything other than bitcoin is a security and that coinbase should stop trading everything except bitcoin however i don't think we've ever seen an f- official thing from the sec with that but it came from brian, gotcha. armstrong. brian armstrong i mean it's all a web of everything that's playing out with you know what we imagined anyway so if if that's actually what they said and Bitcoin is not a security, then I foresee the ETF being approved fairly soon. Mm-hmm. Those Likewise. all the all the ETFs, the spot ETFs, which will be the catalyst for said next run. So, not financial advice. Well, well not I wasn't giving anybody advice. advice. I was just saying what's going to happen. You said it will be the catalyst. It, it would be. be. Yeah, you don't know. I do. You do. I do. I know Sweet. everything. Okay. Just kidding. I know nothing. Uh, that was interesting. So, um, I was on vacation last week and, uh, you know, I, I saw the bald stuff going on and I was like, yeah, I'm too late. I'm not getting in on that stuff. Uh, apparently you almost bought it. I did almost buy bald. I'm I glad you that. didn't. I, yeah. I'm glad I didn't too. Um, however, when I buy things like bald, I expect yeah. that 50% of them are going to get rugged. Thank you. Yes. Uh, that's how you, that's how you play shit coins. You're not making major moves into giant 
bags of shit coin that somebody you're just handing your money over to somebody else yeah right? you put yep. in it's the same way we play shiba exactly like you put in a couple of hundred bucks and you're like that is a that's a it's gone yeah, it's, it's i'm gone, going yeah. to the casino and i'm yeah. throwing it into the yeah. slots i'm throwing on whatever it's gone yeah i'm just here to play yeah. the fun game that's right yeah you know, set yourself a limit yeah and then, that's what I, was this time. I had a limit and then yeah. i changed that limit just a moment ago let's <laughs> 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 change the limit dude. <laughs> <laughs> so what we're talking about i'm talking about is i was so i was on vacation and then i saw a random tree i put it in the discord i was like oh i bought a shit coin bought a meme coin purely on the fact that it was just it was posted on twitter that's it i didn't even look it up all i looked up was on coin gecko where can i buy it and so i went and found old mod coin and i bought it so this was last week sometime I've been sitting in the same range forever but um mog looks a lot like bonk yeah i mean bonk, bonk is about the same yeah it does at, at well i can't say yet. well the token itself does absolutely nothing you can you can make your own little pdf editor and put your cool little glasses on there if you want um but they're a pure, a pure me meme coin um all about the community it's all about we're together in this and it's like this is the community token your, your token doesn't do shit i guess it doesn't do yeah. anything. Shiba didn't do yeah. anything when it was out now. What does it do now? It's a Shiba. <laughs> it's the Inu. It does Shiba. nothing. Yeah, oh, I have so many dog coins. <laughs> what was it? What was the Akita. one? Akita. There's Akita. Akita, Akita, Akita Inu. Inu was the yeah. other one. I still have Akita. Yeah. Well, I made a little bit on that. Not near what I did on Shiba, but it was yeah. like you're like I made someone. It's going to Akita. And then there's like, Dojalon. Um, oh yeah. I forgot that one. <laughs> yeah. I mean. This is care. why this is why the SEC, this is why the government's going to come in and shut everything down. This is why we're not going to be able to have nice things is because of this crap. I mean, Don't fuck around, get smog or get mog. Get mog. I mean, look, I've made money on this crap and, you know, I'll I'll probably lose all the money I put in this token unless, you know, something happens. It's ranked 897. That's not bad for a shitcoin. No. I mean, I buy shitcoins in the 3000s, so. Yeah. Yeah. Bonk. Uh, Tits V2. <laughs> <laughs> there was a, a, so I tweeted about uh, somebody in the Discord uh, posted a scam of Mog. They're like, oh, this is a scam token. Here's why it's ran. I didn't do my research. It's my fault. I just reposted his tweet and I didn't actually read through it. Well, the, the actual uh, token address for the scam was an actual scam token. It was not M Mog. Um, and so, you know, the mod community, cause they're so big and strong came, came at me hard. Like this isn't the right token. And I was like, Oh, let me that's, do my that's research. A good sign. And so I did, I looked and uh, Hey, I was completely wrong. So I did a little research on Nansen and looked at it and you know, the distribution of the scam token was 87% in one wallet of that token. That's your key indicator that, mm -hmm. <laughs> that you're going to get rugged in that yeah. token. Mog. Nobody owns more than 3.25%. Now, let me tell now. No wallet owns more than 3.25%. No, I did buy it in two different wallets, so that's not. Yeah. So, I mean, obviously, people can have multiple wallets, blase, blase, blase. This coin does nothing, but I bought some. Uh, and, uh, you know, once I did my research, I felt really comfortable with it too, because the max supply is 420 billion, 690. Wait, is that trillion or billion? That's too many zeros. You're looking it's at trillion. total? 420 trillion, 690 billion. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so once I saw that, I knew it was legit. Yeah, and... but what they'll do is, and a lot of the time, if this gets any traction, is they'll burn 419 trillion of it. Well, they should burn. Yeah. Well, whatever would make it to be uh, 420 billion. 690 million they should burn that much <laughs> that would make it exciting um but yeah that's uh that's the shit coin uh rodeo that you know i've been rolling on lately it's just one shit coin though. i thought we were talking about shit coins yeah i mean they uh well curve got rugged for 100 yeah there's more to that story than that they didn't get yeah, rugged. they got hacked. hacked and then sorry the hacker got front run by a bot and the owner of yeah, the I know that was hilarious. It to curve. <laughs> that was hilarious. It was like regulators. That, it was like, ding, 
I was like that right when I was reading that. I was like, what? And no, yeah, that was great. I mean, that's the community kind of taking, you know, taking, taking care hold, of taking care of itself, which is great. That's what we want, Curve, right? Curve's been around for a bit. Oh, I know. Curve's great. Right. Yeah, Curve's fantastic. Um, but it just, you know, happening around the same time. Well, there's a big him. difference between being hacked and being robbed. Yeah, I'm sorry, I misspoke. Yes, yeah. hacked, not you, rugged. You don't want the Curve community coming after you, saying, "I don't know, you they come and get me." I come at you, bro. Come at you, bro. <laughs> Fuck around and find out. Yeah. Well, I was gone all last week. What happened last week? I was busy over, you know, I was over there uh, in the swimming pools, running around. We did some hiking and very nice. It's great. Yeah, very it's a good nice. time. Uh, what did, uh, what happened last night? Oh, sorry. Uh, mostly I was busy. Did you golf? Um, I did not get an opportunity. I did golf, but I can't remember who with or where. Okay. Or when it was. <laughs> that was one of those it, ones i know it happened those are great golf I'm playing games. golf this afternoon um <laughs> yeah i did play games. golf I, I don't remember how i was very busy doing um a lot of manual labor actually it was oh you're still, still working still on working at the school and, oh yeah um we pretty much finished it off i had a very very late night on saturday we went all the way through to like four o'clock in the morning dang yeah but there was a bunch of us there and it was pretty fun um uh, let's we see weren't sober doing it <laughs> of course not yeah. why would you be exactly uh, let's see so gala news they've got a couple they're pushing off the vote again so uh, i think next week they're gonna have the final proposal whatever it looks like and then right. start the voting on it whatever that looks like i don't know i haven't i've been out of the loop so i don't yeah, know if they too. put another proposal up uh they've got a new social media Coming into play, uh, social media platform coming to Gala Chain, rep, rep, yeah, and it's uh, I'm I'm uh, a little out of the loop to be honest. It look, I, I, I not do a lot. I had to do a bunch of work yesterday. There's but, not a know. lot. There's not a lot there with there rep. There we go. Look at that. That's why we bring Blake on. You know, I know give us some info here. Of I mean here. it. We talked about this before. Social media is such a hard thing to break into when you have established communities already i mean it's no different than you know looking at what's going on in gala music right and looking at other streaming services it's just yeah, that i will i'm gonna push back on that a little bit i think that given the current state of social media there is an opportunity there um i think you see you know x is burning to the ground also, I read. I, my, I, I don't know. I so love X. See, it works I, great. I hear that, but I haven't seen any drop off. Like I haven't. Right. You know, well, I, I see love people it. People being like, "Oh, I'm done with Twitter or it's whatever." Way better. Is it? Uh, oh, it's so much better. How is it better? Isn't it just I, rebranded as X? So I have way less bots going on, like okay. constantly botting my shit. Um, my feed is not a bunch of garbage. It seems to be more of what I'm actually interested in, in looking. So they're curating it for me. Yeah. So I can have a nice narrow window of what I look at and mm -hmm. open my mind to other things. Okay. Good. <laughs> Call that an echo chamber. <laughs> yes. Yes. So it has a great echo chamber. Um, I don't know. I haven't had issues. issue. I, my interactions. I just, I think, I think it's more that there are so many more competing services available for social media and that the big ones are, their time is gone. That is a very web two, web two point five agreed uh, industry, which is ripe for um, becoming perfectly competitive. And you know, you'll find yeah. your people where you find your people. And by all accounts, you know, uh, they're not probably taking on Twitter so much as they're taking on kind of Discord or Truth or whatever. Yeah, that would be my guess. It's more of a decentralized platform, yeah. um, supposed to be. The problem is, is you know, they're selling nodes beforehand with, again, no... They're doing what now? <laughs> selling nodes yeah. for rep. Really? Yeah, rep How nodes. can I buy some? You know, you can go to <laughs> gala.com and buy them. Wait, no. Okay. I don't cool. even know what their address is. Yeah. I, it's it's gala.com. Is it gala.com? I know they well, I'm sure you must be able to get to rep from gala.com. Blake's, uh, Blake's proving out right now. Yeah. Yes. They, I mean, it's, I don't know when the sales go on, but there's supposed to be a discount for gold and founders, node owners. Uh, they're going to start at $2,500, whatever that discount looks I'm like. I'm going to buy one. I figured you would. Yeah. I'll buy one for sure. I asked if I could buy it in silk since I have a lot of silk sitting in the treasure chest. Mm -hmm. 
um, because, you know, hey, why not? It's a Gala product. Let me use my Gala tokens and tokens that I earned through the Gala platform to buy said Gala stuff. So and what, what apparently are you, they what said, are no. you able to buy it in? Buy those <laughs> nodes in, in? Can you buy them in Gala? They haven't said yet. Okay. Most likely it'll be uh, Ethereum is. or Gala. But I don't even know if you'll be able to buy them in Gala. It'll probably just be Ethereum. I would have thought it's just going to be Ethereum. The, but that's the problem, though, right? Like you have this whole ecosystem you're supposed to be running and gala is supposed to be the token so you need two things one you need to use gala as the token to be able to buy whatever your stuff is that's mm -hmm. on there and not just these other tokens that you have and also you need to have a dex on your chain mm -hmm. so you can swap said silk and eventually will probably be another town coin that's a whole nother issue that's been yeah. talked about uh, you know, your materium and whatever else is on the Gala chain into Gala. So then I can buy stuff through the Gala store with your Gala. Otherwise, let me do it with Silk. Or we need some sort of DEX that's out there. I mean, I mean, we're putting in a proposal today. We've talked to uh, Gala already about the marketplace. Um, uh, they're wanting us to, um, they've showed interest in us creating a marketplace on the gala chain so we have a proposal that we're sending in today mm -hmm. the other one i mean we might as well do a dex for them i was gonna say a marketplace could in fact integrated dex with it integrated dex very easily yeah uh and we have the team that will that's already been building out bridges and dexes so we have the the team to build that right now so why not love it, do Hope, it. hopefully they say yes do it yeah i mean i think they, they have to do it for, for another reason. They have to be able to sell their internal products in Gala specifically because what's going to happen is I try and keep everything within that kind of ecosphere, if you like. So I'm going to take my Gala out. I'm going to sell it for ETH, and I'm going to sell the ETH right back to, to Gala. Well, and if it stays on chain, it stays on in, on the Gala chain. It stays exactly. there. And that's the whole idea if Which you have a DEX, exactly. right? Yeah. If you, do, so. if you do that, you stop me from doing that. Right. They want to keep it internal on that, which yeah. is totally fine. and. You know, they have their honor system, and then it can just affect your honor system if you bridge out. You can still use the decks and keep it all internal on mm -hmm. the the decks there, and then you know, have it that way. So I agree 100 percent Yeah. Um, I don't know, a lot of weird stuff. Like and they you know, the whole town coin, you know, we what did we do? We swapped it, burned it, whatever we did to get our gala yeah. goes out. I can't remember what they called out, it. Wasn't it? Wasn't it called a who knows? What was it called? Like, you know. Oh, yeah. What did they? burn down or something. Yeah, I can't remember if they considered it, it a burn. Or... Yeah. Well, the interesting part. Actually, I think they still have a slide on the on the homepage. Don't they? I don't know. I can pull it up. I don't have inventory. Get out of there. Get out of there. Stop. You let me know when you're ready. Yeah, where? What am I looking for? Okay, yeah, maybe that's. Oh, maybe I do have to go to inventory. I got. Let me go to get it in the town coin deal. Uh, chest, chest. No, they took it down. No, they took it down. So that's yeah. not there. It was but, there fairly recently. It was there like a week ago when I looked. Yeah. So that whole thing, and then they brought it back up again because you know they are going to have. They're bringing back the whole game tokens again. So the swap, the flop, flip flop of everything is, you know, back on board. Um, and they didn't say that town coin wasn't going to be a thing again or whatever they're going to call the new one. Go back to box coin, the original, because <laughs> that's what the farm bots are supposed to be. Mm -hmm. Box coin. Um, I don't know. It just seems uh, <clears throat> a little interesting. I feel like they need a to kind of straighten things up a little bit. Well, we've been saying that for a while. I know, I know. Yeah. Okay. So, well, let's go back to rep. Why do you think? So, you think that this market is is primed for a a different type of social media? I don't think they're trying to do anything <clears throat> different. I mean, social media has been largely perfected. The problem is, is like classic economics, right? You get uh, you get this monopoly phase. Yep. And then you get the oligarchy. Uh, oligopoly phase and then 
it goes into competitive and then it goes into perfect comp competition. That's all markets of all time ever. Um, and so we're moving our way to this perfectly competitive stage where um, you make in, in the first two stages and monopoly and oligopoly, you make super normal profit. Yeah. And then it slowly peters down to normal, what we call normal profit. Normal profit means, you know, you have 30% margin or whatever. Um, and I, I think that social media is that. I mean, the, why, if you're offering me something that's, because I think they specifically call it out on the front page, right? It was like, this is for gaming and for. Right. Because um, they have their own game already that they have on Steam, is what it says. Right. So if this is a gaming specific social media platform they're not they're trying to filter out i think social media platforms are trying to filter out right stuff like you know discord got in trouble last week or week before right Did with, they? uh with the u.s intelligence oh, leaks right. from oh yeah yeah that was a bad yeah 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 the minecraft the was, minecraft yeah. deal yeah um and yeah the web3 part is interesting to me i don't know where the technology really needs to be advanced anywhere and where it's like why is web3 um I, I guess it could you do it already in discord right so this is just taking that evolution and that um and adding it to its own platform and just saying well we're going to build from here up right rather than saying well we because discord just added that kind of stuff right where you well they don't even they didn't even add it we had to add um certain features to it like token gating things right, right. essentially that's what i mean it's token yeah. gating. so and now this is just token gate from the start Right. It's and in, in, I mean, there's a lot of other things from there upwards. And the hope would be like you actually can have a decentralized network that is ran by the community to distribute that data across, you know, across the world or wherever mm -hmm. it's going to be at for, you know, making it a little bit more secure. That's the idea. Um, and it's always the cart before the horse. Well, we can't have this network running without these nodes. Right. I mean, this was the whole founders node thing from the get go, which they don't do anything, but still. Then they I mean, ultimately they should run rep on the founders nodes, but yes. But the and that was brought up. It was like, why not just run it on the founders node? You already have the network there. Yeah. And he said, Well, we need a lot of storage. I'm like, okay, well, just mm -hmm. add the ability to the founders nodes to say, Hey, guess what? We need extra storage. If you can add extra storage. Because it has to a you running the founders node it has oh, a yeah. minimum requirement, and if you have a lot of storage and you, you're yeah. in that sort of position where you can say, yep. "I'm going to spin my ten founders nodes and I'm going to add two terabytes to each one yep. of them," um, all of a sudden you become these beacons in the yeah. rep network of well the storage. Who's here. running their founders ping, node ping, correctly? Ping, Who's helping yeah. the network, right? And you start well, running it on there, and I and get I get extra rewards because your node yes. is being pinged more than everybody else because their storage is full. Exactly. Or it doesn't have enough storage to read write. So I'm assuming there's going to be a rep token. I, I don't know there if it says that in there. Rep token. Rep token was I know. ages it's a, ago. That's a, that's it's a, a boomer coin. It's a boomer coin. It's a boomer shit coin. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, it is. But it was for another network. It wasn't called rep. Though. Was it rep? Was the token? It was rep was a of... token. It was. Let's see if I can find it. Oh, I'm gonna see if I can get there first in my mental Come on, brain. An old man, see what you got. It's Augur. Augur. Thank yeah. You. Yes. Actually, Augur wasn't a shit coin. It's still around. It's still around. They did. I remember them doing a lot of. Um, there was some. It goes up and down. Actually, you should pull the chart on Augur. Let's check it out. Um, I occasionally get notifications like Augur is up five percent or Augur is down ten percent. It never seems to be the other way around. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think the 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 thing about going back to the the social media platform when I pull up this uh, chart is well, it looks like shit. Uh, Ouch! Uh, I wouldn't want to be in that thing. Yeah, well, I mean that's like everything right now. You know, <laughs> by now, <laughs> <laughs> it's not a meme coin, dude. No, I just have some. Yeah, no, I just just to have it. You probably already have it. You look at one of your wallets. Guarantee you probably. Oh have no, it I definitely have. I definitely have uh, <laughs> rep for sure. I I bought it way back when, and you know it's a bag. It's just a bag that's been there. Yeah, I can't imagine I paid much more than it's worth right now. Like I probably bought it way back here in 2017. Oh yeah, so you're bre you're break even. <laughs> Finally, <laughs> I mean, look at the chart. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit. Oh, uh, like reps. <laughs> an S. Oh, is it reps with an S? Yeah. Oh, yeah. There it is. So, 
Yeah. Um, in the world of cryptocurrency, sinks play a vital role in maintaining balanced and healthy economy. Simply put, a sink is a mechanism that removes tokens from circulation in the context of reps. Sinks help regulate the token supply with the rep ecosystem. Uh, this is a bunch of talk. There are, yeah, there there are is actually no of like sinks. description of what they're going to put sinks in for. They're just saying, hey, we like sinks and we want to have them. No, there's a range of them. Yeah, <laughs> of course there are. <laughs> you know who wrote this? ChatGPT wrote their entire thing. <laughs> it literally sounds like a ChatGPT <laughs> writer. But I mean, I can imagine in a, in a social media thing, I mean, the sinks for reps are going to be like, do you oh, there want we a go. bigger we, PFP? Do they got down below. Six some, one of the, one. some of the stuff that you you know you have your channel here add this functionality for this amount of reps you have yeah to earn enough reps from your from your and that's what they they actually yeah. state they say that out there six one one there you go post magnification yeah is a sync yeah no well, interesting I, KYC payments what's that a rep platform provides various tiers of permissions offering users enhanced features and experiences based on their level of engagement. Crucial part of accessing these tiers involves know your customer procedures, which users can complete by utilizing reps. The process validates and verifies the user's identity, ensuring a secure, trustworthy environment for the rep community. Completing KYC can unlock additional permissions and features, enhancing the user's experience in the platform. The mm -hmm. mechanism also serves as reps sync. So essentially, they're going to have a KYC. That's, in that's actually interesting. They're going to have their own kind of uh, built-in uh, Web3 KYC system. I will be interested if they implement a walleting, a wallet KYC system. Mm -hmm. So, yes, uh, I can have my my reps account, and I'm going to KYC myself, right? I'm going to KYC certain wallets with under that. So then, if I go to a third party that needs KYC procedure, rep, they can use rep as a hey, yeah, I have these wallets that are KYC'd. Mm -hmm. I don't necessarily need to hold that data, right? The rep rep uh, nodes and everything else will hold that da data in a secure system all i'm getting from rep is the fact that this wallet is kyc and i and you know it's done through their process it's like x verification yeah for wallets yeah i don't know it's good i mean i know that there's a couple other people that were working on that same thing but that would be interesting for them to well i mean we, could, we should that. talk about it because this was supposed to be a shit coin um thing well coin Oh, yeah, yeah. We should talk about that because that did happen last week. Mm -hmm. People are that scanning their eyeballs. Whereas, whereas God. Kind of took off. And you and I talked about it a while oh, yeah. ago. Oh, yeah. About getting one of the orbs and Look. running an orb. <laughs> yeah. And uh, Chris wanted to buy an orb for Black Harp uh, and run it, you know, mm -hmm. and have people come I kneel to, before I the orb. One. Yeah, kneel before the orb. Because I think the nearest one when I looked it up uh, a couple of weeks ago was Argentina or something. Are you going to scan your eyeball? Dude, I already have quite a bit of biometric data stored with the U.S. government, so... So you don't care? No, I don't care. <clears throat> I'm not up to anything shady. I don't also, think, I probably don't... when I scan my eyeball, they're going to say, wow, this is a perfect human. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to get in. I'm going to get on the, in on the ship when we leave, right? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I've never... Why I risk them not finding that out? The, not that I'm doing anything shady, but the least amount of stuff that I have to like give the the government, they already have, you know, they've got my fingerprints, they've got my DNA. But you know, so let's. Do let's, they really need my eyeball scan? Okay, two things, right? First off, did we already talk about the fact that the human anus is also? Yes, I think yeah, we. Okay, and the Japanese toilets <laughs> use it for. No, have, you didn't what? Know that? no, I did not okay, know so this. There's okay. a system in Japan where it recognizes your because stop it, it. Human anuses are as unique stop as eyeballs. It. <laughs> preloads your it preloads your profile preferences for the toilet <laughs> first off <laughs> this has got to be bullshit it's not fucking bullshit the other part is who like what what was the scientist first off how did they come up <laughs> with the idea let's do this it's japan uh, let me look at your butthole no and i want to scan <laughs> let's scan it oh by the way your butthole doesn't look like his butthole right and then let's let me let me look at a thousand buttholes and then see what they look like. How did that even come about? Is that sounds real? Like a like, South Park that real? It sounds it's like a South Park episode. It sounds like a South Park episode. Thing, right? <laughs> so, okay, this isn't you. I've scanned your butthole. I don't know if this is you. Now scan your eyeball with the same butthole scan you did. You'd probably that start, has some sanitation issues. eyeball and then go to anus. There's, okay, yeah. You don't want to go the other way around, right? 
the sanitation issues there. Right. God, yeah. dude, my my search history is gonna be so fucking weird now. <laughs> like you're already on the list. You're, you're involved in this particular what, Japanese the toilets list. IDing buttholes. Like, what else do I look up? <laughs> but I love the fact that they established this technology just so that they could preload your toilet preferences on their fancy oh my electric gosh. toilets. That's hilarious. It's like, so you don't. So when you sit down, it already. Knows oh my who god. You are. You're right. Is it legit? Pull it up. Pull it up. The smart toilet can read your anus like a fingerprint, says scientists. Well, look at you. Man, you're so up to speed. Oh, look at that. It came from Stanford. Wow. <laughs> you thought it was Japan. You said it was Japan. I assumed it was Japan. They're, so again, I was of the nature of the thing. Sure. Where were we at? Like, how did it come to say like, <laughs> the guy that goes, man, all these buttholes I've looked at, they look totally different. I want to do a study. You know exactly where I started. It was like some dude <laughs> sat down on a Japanese toilet and was like, do I seriously have to press my fucking profile preferences? <laughs> <laughs> how, how can we automate this? No, uh, this is great. <laughs> Anyway, so going hey, back, going you know back to WorldCoin. Well, you just went full circle because we started with shit coins oh and now God. we're talking about your shit. <laughs> <We're thinking> about... <laughs> yeah. So, okay. Biometric data. Man, that camera's got to get cleaned a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Don't put those in Taco Bell. Don't be taking oh, those in Taco Bell. Oh, that is too funny. <laughs> um, so it's been tested on 21 people. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's go to World Coin. Let's talk about so anyway, I, I do want to talk about World Coin because <laughs> do you remember 10 years ago, you and I had a business together? Yes. Um, called a pocket plan. Yes, we did. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. World Coin is very close to if we had taken a pocket plan and spent 10 years developing it, World Coin probably would have been part of the output based on our convergence with Web3 and blockchain technologies. You think? Yeah. I mean, I, maybe we were on a different page about what we were doing with the pocket. I think the oh, about. I think all those all those prepper people that we were going to sell stuff to the pocket plan stuff. The ultimate prepper is the dude who started Worldcoin. He is a huge doomsday prepper. But why would you give all your information so that when all shit goes, when everything goes yeah. to shit, and so they know how to go? They know who you are. You don't want them to know who you are. Like you the, do the, because you're supposed to be extracted. Remember, we had the centers where we were <laughs> yes. selling the insurance. Okay, okay, okay. I'm with you, you now. Like, I'm with you on that. Yes. Okay. So, okay. so okay. then, if you yes. want to know where this all comes back together, is watch American Horror uh, Story season five. Is it? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I think it's season five or season six, where essentially it's it all happens, and then they all get extracted because they'd signed up on a thing. <laughs> exactly. Have you not watched this? I haven't. Watched I, it. I, I think sure. I know what you're talking. I. <sighs> I've seen a lot of it. I just can't. I'm trying to remember really that. Specific. American Horror Story season five or season six is essentially about that. It's like the world collapses, but everybody who signed up to an apocalyptic type of business, by the way, for millions and millions of dollars. Um, I'm writing this down so I can watch. And it. then Worldcoin and World ID is essentially how they verify them that they are the person. Then they get extracted from their situation and sent to one of these safety zones or safety gotcha. fortresses. Oh man, you're gonna make me go get my eyeball scanned now. I still have a pocketplan.com as a uh, as a domain name. I should sell it to Worldcoin. Man, okay, <sighs> we're getting we're getting a, we're getting an orb. Let's get an orb. They're really expensive, aren't they? I like a quarter million dollars. That's fine. All right. Yeah, I wonder what the, the... Awesome. done done. <laughs> Let's find an orb. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, I do find an orb. Um, uh, although, are you on a VPN? Because I actually wonder if that was why my nearest orb came up as Argentina. Uh, I'm not on one right now. Okay. Oh, we're there's gonna... there's not we'll, on the. We'll I don't. Ping, I... We'll ping right where we'll know right where Blake's at. <laughs> pulling it full <laughs> circle back to to shit coins. This happened last week as well because WLD is the coin of world coin, but then there's this other coin WDC which I bought and we talked about on. Oh. I bought it. That was my first shit coin I ever bought was Worldcoin, the was, original Worldcoin. The original Worldcoin. I yeah, bought yeah. some a couple of weeks ago when the first article about Worldcoin uh, came out. Remember? I told yeah, you about yeah. this, and I think we talked about it on our podcast. You did. And then again, last week, CoinGecko had the two paired. Oh. It was like WLD was at 263 or something, and WDC was at 263 no as shit. well. And I'm like, wow. Oh. And then, of course, they corrected it, and it wasn't true. And in fact, w, WDC Man. is still worth see that zero point zero 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 exactly zero one six you were a billionaire for two seconds <sighs> always feels good <laughs> smelled good yeah. yeah i think the uh 
Chris had sent me a text message saying, "Hey, should we buy one of these?" And I was all like, "I don't want to give. The, I don't want to be the part of the whole system that gives more more data to the government to abuse." And but now that we're roping this back around, you're getting me a little bit interested. Maybe, dude. Maybe, dude. So what? at one point there was a conversation where Illahi Hills Country Club, where we play golf, mm -hmm. had proposed using retinal scanning to enter the swimming pool. Yeah. Now, now they just oh. use the phone app. Now, yeah, because there was a lot of pushback, probably mostly from you. <laughs> um, <laughs> you don't get my fucking eye scan. I, I mean, my my eye, my butthole my though has already been scanned several times. Let me take my pants down, yep. scan my butthole, let me into the pool. <laughs> like the U.S. government has everything they could possibly need to know about me already, so. I don't, and I don't do anything that's not. That's funny. Not cool, man. Well, government man. Now we just got to find out how we get a how we get an orb. So, apply. Be, there was a, Blake just had the link up. Yeah, there's that just a, be an orb operator. All right, I wonder. I suspect that you would meet the requirements. Well, I think Chris. I think Chris uh, said he did apply for to be an orb operator. I gotta look and see real quick. But. Well, here's the thing is like, so the people that you'd want to hook up with is like, um, who does the, who does the what? Silence. Yeah. You know, oh man, spacing on, spacing <laughs> on the name. So when you go to the airport and you can go pre-check. Yes. TSA, oh yeah. Yeah. TSA, TSA pre-check. Pre -check. Yeah. And they do those at like Office Depot, right? Yep. You go into Office Depot and they have a little desk there. It's literally the only yep. thing Office Depot do well now. And you go in and it takes 10 minutes and you get all your pre-check documents, et cetera. Oh, yeah. That's where you'd want to have one of those. True. As long as it's, you know, the idea of centralizing your data into one place is very enticing to anybody that does stuff like get a loan. You know, you're going to fly somewhere where you need your ID. Anything along those lines, if you can make it simple enough to where anybody can access it, and this includes medical data, right? Like, mm -hmm. if you can have a secure place where your medical data is there and everybody's using it, like that idea of creating that together is very powerful for good, but also for bad. But the good side of it is, you know, it's simple, it's easy. Uh, you can, um, especially in the medical side, we can go down a whole rabbit hole. I mean, we'll get Michael Barr in here and he'll, mm -hmm. he'll go, he'll go to town. It's, He's probably listening because he, he says he listens to most of our podcasts. He does. He does. Um, how about, so next tier for that is there was this wonderful dude who was given uh, what they call a skunk works in a British government to essentially the, the question posed was what would you do differently if you could start all government processes from zero and do them again? And a lot of it basically ended up with this, which is where I have Web3 enabled wallet with all of my information in it. And yeah. when I apply for something, I give them only yep. what they need. Exactly. Nothing more. You're yeah. not giving them your and you can time restrict set. It. You're saying, here, you have access to this. And as soon as the application is approved or denied, the access is revoked. Right. Yeah, yeah. you can time restrict yeah. it. You can give them just the basic information that you want. Like I'm going yeah. for a car loan. They don't need to know, you know, what my latest and blood results are. Blockchain were. enabled, every time that they look at it is recorded and you you, you have right. this complete transcript of who has accessed your data, why and for what purpose. And you're getting alerts whenever anything happens to that one centralized data set. Um, I think there's a lot there. There is a lot. There's a lot to unpack, a lot to like implement. Mm -hmm. It's it's a long road to hoe for sure for that. But I think it's powerful and it would be amazing for me to have that simple information to go anywhere and say, mm -hmm. I'm buying a car. You know, here's my financial data. I'm um, going to the doctor. Here's my medical, my recent medical data. Right? Of course, the problem is that you got the adoption on both sides. I mean, I can yep. walk around with my world yep. ID going, hey, <laughs> can I give you my data? And they're like, what? what who? A what? Yeah, just <laughs> fill out this form. I'm yeah. Like, well, so I think, uh, I mean, I think it's definitely the way it's all moving. And 10 years from now, we'll be looking back on this podcast and saying, yeah, we called it. <laughs> we called it. We called it a long time ago, man. Actually, we, we called it 10 years before now. Seems like some Kingsman type. <laughs> right, where everyone's head's gonna blow up at some yeah, point. Yeah, I freaking love Kingsman. I, was like, I, was, I, I love those movies. I it's, wish they'd make so another good. one. Yeah, I should they make another good. one. They are good. Well, anyway, so the I want to kind of I'll wrap it up with the ultimate shit coin. Right, it's the original meme coin. Doge. 
Doge. Doge coin. Doge. Because X or Twitter, X formerly known, known as Twitter. Is that how we have to say it now? X formerly known as Twitter. Um, so Elon Musk, maybe you can find this as we talk about it. Um, Elon Musk talked about all the things that he wanted to do with X. Um, and originally started with PayPal and like before, like in that time frame, like having a social media payments, like he had this huge vision of yeah. everything he wanted to implement together and everything he talks about, if, you know, it wraps into the world, wrap it into world coin, you know, wrap it mm -hmm. into hopefully doge. Cause I have a bag uh, and allow there to be a token utilizing to, to, be utilized in that network um but he he had a whole story i don't know what it is because i'm going to butcher it so if blake can find it I'm trying to find it um it was a good story of you know what he wanted to do with all this stuff and so this the twitter transformation and he's hinting at some big changes that are coming to mm -hmm. x um that's going to include a lot of this stuff that he's been wanting to implement overall so what does that include how does that go and obviously this is pure speculation but uh, Elon, you know, he loves the idea of decentralization, um, blockchain, Web3 um, access. He loves the idea of the payment systems, crypto, obviously Doge. He talks about Doge being the perfect currency um, that's out there. He likes it better than Bitcoin, even though his company owns $300 billion worth of or something of Bitcoin. Maybe not that much, but he owns a lot. that seems like a lot. It might be that. Is it three billion? No, he sold a bunch of it when he bought Twitter. No, they or, said that they, they, yeah, you're talking about Tesla, right? Tesla, yeah, owns, yeah. They 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 definitely sold a bunch of it. Uh, they've had. So I want to say it was fifty billion, not three hundred billion. Could be. Um, hold on. Still a lot of Bitcoin. It is still a lot of Bitcoin, and they, uh, from what I saw, they have they haven't sold. I think they sold a little bit. Um, to test the system, the liquidity of it, and they haven't sold any since. Hmm. So, but regardless, I'm curious to what's going to happen with that and how he's going to integrate a lot of payment systems, how that's going to work, and if he uses his favorite token, Doge. Well, that's all I I'm mean, isn't, he, isn't there a tip jar? Isn't there a tip jar system on Twitter already? Yeah, it's um, something. I, I haven't really looked into it. I literally use Twitter for my news. So Blake was trying to say something, and we we, over, we talked over. Oh, I, I was just going to say, I I mean, from what I was able to see, you know, he um, basically just hinted towards, you know, obviously wanting to leverage his past experiences with PayPal and create X as more of a payment service rather than just a social media service, and then has mentioned in the past. Um, uh, oh, where did that just go? Um, oh, I guess this isn't directly from him. Um, it's from a CEO of a Web3 venture studio and advisory firm that basically was like, I suspect he'll incorporate other crypto assets such as Bitcoin, Ethereum, along with stable coins like USDC. But Doge is a part of Elon's online presence and would almost have to include a Doge function to launch a crypto payment system through the new Twitter X. Yes, please. So we'll I'll be see. down with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I still have Doge. Uh, we're at 45 minutes. Let's lock it down. Anything else you got? I got nothing, dude. I'm spent. All right, as man. much brain power as you can get from me today. That's fine. We'll uh, bring it up. Again, we're going to try to do every other week. Yep. Um, sometimes we might I'm do I'm away it. next week anyway, so oh, I'll be back the great. week after. Okay. So I'll be back. All right, man. All right. It was good talking to you. You guys Bye. have a great day, and we'll uh, we'll see you in a couple weeks. Take it easy, everyone. Bye. <laughs>